So, for example, if you, if you knew nothing about science and you read, say, the Bible, and I said to you, give me your description of the natural world based only on this, you would say the stars are just little points of light, much lesser than the sun. And in fact, they can fall out of the sky, right? Because that's what happens during, during the um, revelation. One of the signs that yeah. the second coming is that the stars will fall out of the sky and land on earth. So it's even right that means you don't know what those things are. You have no concept of what the actual universe is. Yeah, that is ridiculous and it's absurd to science. So, um, but maybe I'm just misinterpreting. Maybe you're just using the language of appearance. Maybe it's just allegorical. Maybe it's, it's something like that. Is that the case? Well, um, we can ask Muhammad, right? Muhammad, of course, surely is, is the messenger of the Almighty Allah, knew that the sun doesn't actually move in relation to the earth, right? And maybe we should just giving him the benefit of the doubt. So we can go to the Ahadith sources to find out. So according to Sahih Bukhari. Volume 4, Book 54, Chapter 4, Number 421. It says, Narrated Abu Dar, the Prophet asked me at sunset, Do you know where the sun goes at the time of sunset? I replied, Allah and the Apostle know better. He said, It goes till it prostrates itself underneath the throne and takes the permission to rise again. And it is permitted, and then a time will come when it will be about to prostrate itself, but its prostration will not be accepted. And it will ask permission to go on its course but it will not be permitted, but it will be ordered to return when it has come, and so it will rise in the west. And that is the interpretation of the statement of Allah, and the sun runs its fixed course for a term decreed. That is the decree of Allah, the exalted and mighty, the all-knowing. So there we have it. We have a clarification from the habit on what he meant. He did not mean it to be taken allegorically. He did not mean to use the language of appearance. You know, the, the, the question of the sun, um, there's a hadith in which the prophet describes the sun, it, after it sets, it goes and, and prostrates before the throne of God. And, and this, of course, in the early 20th century caused all this anxiety. Yet you look at the, I give examples of lots of pre-modern Muslim scholars who, they all knew the earth, the, the hadith wasn't literally true. They knew that the earth, the sun didn't literally go and prostrate before the throne of God because they know that the sun is always up because they knew about prayer times. They knew if you went really far north, the sun was always up and they knew that at different places the sun was rising, setting at different times. So they, it was always figurative. They, it was always figurative. 